Were you aware that there are three types of T47 and it can get a little bit confusing because there's T47E or external and there's T47I or T47 internal and there's T47A which you'll see in Cervelos and Factors and some other bikes. We get questions about advantages, disadvantages, also a lot of confusion and let's start out with that. When you go out to a manufacturer's website, a lot of times they'll just say T47. They're not telling you if it's T47 external or T47 internal. A dead giveaway that it's T47 external is if the bottom bracket shell fits 68 millimeters wide or 73, it's going to be external. Now, which one do we prefer? They're both excellent. The best thing about T47 external, you're not having to deal with this super thin flange, so it makes it easier to install. Unlike T47 internal, allows us to do an extremely wide bearing spacing. This is why Trek and a lot of other companies want to use it, because instead of being constrained to a 68 millimeter wide shell, they can push those bearings out, which allows them to have that wider, stiffer bottom bracket structure, but even more more important than that is it allows the chain stays to start out in a very wide position because they don't have to come from a narrow position at 68 millimeters and then sweep out and that adds dimension so it allows for those larger tires to be much closer to the bottom bracket shell for a shorter chain stay and a different feel in the steering performance and maneuverability t47i and its cousin t47a it's basically a t47i that just pushes a little bit further through the frame to expose this nose coming out because t47a which you'll find in factor and cervello and a couple of other bikes is basically T47i on one side and T47 external on the other. Kind of like the two-faced version for a wider stance, but also really excellent clearance for chain rings, spider back plates, especially with power meters in them, like an SRM or a Quark. It gives more space for that, so it's not rubbing up against this flange, which can happen on some of those. So there you go. That difference between T47e and T47i is important to know. Sometimes that information can be difficult to find on a manufacturer's website, so all you have to do is measure the bottom bracket shell. If it's a narrow one, it's gotta be T47E. And if it's a wide bottom bracket shell, like 86.5, it's going to be in that T47I family. BB Infinite, check the link in our bio.